Whatever it is, you're bold enough, you're big enough to dream. If you are intentional and deliberate about it, now there's some aspects of it that are going to be organic, but if you are intentional and deliberate, if you build it on Monday, if you build it on Tuesday, if you build it on Wednesday, I'm not, I want you to understand that it's not gonna happen by luck. Productivity is always intentional and deliberate. And on Tuesday, went Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, set, no, no, no luck, guys. Every single day, if you do a little, you're gonna wake up one day and your dreams are gonna be a reality. You can't just say you want it. You can't watch the video and say, I want it as bad as I want to breathe. It's cute to say it. But when it's showtime, when the sun comes up, when the sun comes up, you've got all the books, you've got all the tapes, you've got all the access. Now it's time to hunt. And what separates you from everybody else is that when it's time to hunt, you're ready to hunt. Everybody's got lions on their profiles. Everybody talks positive about themselves. Everybody talks like you're a beast. You dress like you're a beast. You've got the cards like a beast. But then when it's time to do what bees do, you, you, you back up. You got to get up and make it happen. I can, I will, I must. How do you get to that next level? I can teach anybody how to communicate. I dealt with people inside the jail system, uh, people who are in alternative schools, pastors have approached me. Give me one example of a positive, one positive thing, just one. One positive thing about what? <laughs> Communicating. Uh, if you can communicate effectively, you have a better chance of being anything that you want to be. Um, one simple aspect of communication is just telling somebody thank you. But when you tell them thank you, looking them in the eye and making sure that they understand what you coming across. Some people say, I appreciate you, but they look away. So when they do that, you're displaying that you're either not trustworthy or you really don't believe what you're saying. There's no sincerity. There's no sincerity. And I teach people how to shake. There's a proper way to handshake and not to handshake. There's a proper way to have a conversation and not to have a conversation. There's a proper way to sit in certain kind of settings and a proper way not to sit. So if you sit a certain way, people are going to think you have something. If you sit another way, people are going to think you broke. Now, I've been in places where I've been the brokest person there, but I sit like I own the place. And nobody thought I was the brokest person there. That's all good. That's all good. That's all good, <laughs> but it's not good enough. <laughs> That's all good. Now you speak since you're our host. <laughs> we need to hear from you. Okay. All these okay. electronic devices here. I'm about to say. One of my favorite things was how to be happy. How to be happy at work. How to be happy if you're a teacher. Or how to be happy if you're in corporate America. It's a learned skill. You're not born knowing how to do it. And I'm, I was excited as all get out about it, guys. Let me show you one thing. Okay. Here's a line. Zero, plus one, plus two, plus three, minus one, minus two, minus three. Everything in your life, everything can be designated as an event. Events are zero. Not good, not bad. Ain't nothing ever happened to nobody that never happened to anybody else. Let's take divorce. Okay? I know a dude when I was at work, got divorced. He got off the elevator dragging his feet. I ain't no man. My wife left me. He placed a minus three on that divorce. A lady got off the bus, I remember, because she's about five, four, four foot eleven. She got off the elevator, jumped up and hollered, free at last, thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. Her divorce was a plus three. Well, really, divorce is zero. You decide personally whether it's a plus three or minus three. So if it's my decision, I ain't going in the minus. I decide whatever happened to me I put a, a weight on it. I choose to put a positive weight on it. I had a flat, okay? I said, yay, flat, mm -hmm. close to home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, whoa! I went to the hospital. I got, man, I must have about 80 stitches in the arm. I was holding it. And I was talking to the nurse. The doctor from Pakistan said, I heard him whisper to the nurse, is he retarded? I, hey, dude! No, I ain't retarded. He said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you, you over there laughing. You look, your shit about to fall off. I said, it's my left arm, man. I'm right-handed. I don't use that for nothing. I'm right-handed, man. I don't use that one. Okay, plus three. Anything. 
You decide. Well, you just prove my point. What? <laughs> Body language? Everything is communication. And what I teach people is how do you effectively communicate with yourself. Now, if you told yourself it was going to be bad, it was going to be bad. Right. But you told yourself it was going to be good, so your situation is good. But see, what people need to understand, if you understand it's up to you, it's your personal decision, then if you decide, okay. But don't share with nobody else. Just go get you a glass of wine and sit down and mope if that's what you want to do. But that's, that, you're right, but that's what they want to do. <laughs> it's a, not, and, and, people and always try. scenario, and, it's the elective of how you interpret the event. Yeah, and, and how you communicate to yourself. If you want to be sad, you'll be sad. You yeah. want to be happy, you'll be happy. But it's all about what you tell yourself. And if you're telling yourself to feel that way, you're going to feel like that, no matter what it is, no matter what situation. Okay. Have, have you ever have you had the opportunity to do something you paid yet? On a very small scale. Okay. Have you had the opportunity to do something Yeah, I've, I've done, yeah, I've done He's training. He's got a web president. Web president. I've done training and I've done actual courses. What do you usually charge? Uh, $200 an hour. Okay. And yourself? I've, I've got an opportunity to do a lot. The most I've ever gotten for a single one was, well, normally I charge $500. Uh -huh. But I used to do a lot for the Cap County Schools, Atlanta Public Schools, and Fulton County Schools. But they all changed superintendents. So when they got a new superintendent, I had no clue huh. on how to get in with the new superintendent. I wasn't going to go talk to them the first day of the first week. You know, they, they just got there. They don't want to hear from any outside business, so I had no. Where I, I, to this day, I still don't know how to get back in. What what causes you not to make that opportunity a positive experience? What you mean, not getting back in, or choosing to negotiate your gift to the school system and these new administrations? I'm not sure I understand the question. <laughs> okay, you just elaborated. They got a new guy. Yeah, right. Okay. So I, would I didn't think, know him. I, didn't I meet would him. think that you, based on what you illustrated here, what it says is a new guy, I'm excited about. I don't know who he is. I don't know what his political ambitions are. But I know I'm going to go in there and explain to him what I do, how I do it, and I'm going to win him over just by my enthusiasm and my authenticity. My, uh, what is that word I'm looking for? Authenticity. Authenticity. Well, my thought was, I don't. I didn't even uh -huh. want to do that. I don't want to bug you. So, so that was my thought. Okay, so why did that negative thought occur when you just demonstrated how you are it was, it was not my perception that it was negative. It's my understanding, like, when a new president comes in, he chooses his cabinet, and a new guy, I mean, he's busy. I'm, I'm aware. Of Is it new, new, like? Brand new. Two days ago, new? Uh, no. Uh, like no. this year new? No, man, no. it's been three or four since then. Uh, okay. One of them yeah. got fired for cheating oh, on the scandal. I didn't even make it. You know, they, they, it's yeah, like they're yeah, bobbing yeah, yeah, dope. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? So you would, the right time would be the right time for you to go in there now. Well, I just discovered that there's a lady, I think, over Atlanta, this new superintendent's lady, and I am going to ask for an audience, but not as a motivational speaker. I have a, another idea that I am really, really excited about that I want to present to you. Mind sharing that with us? Certainly. Um, football players have a Hall of Fame. Baseball players have a Hall of Fame. In the big scheme, Hall of Fame. In the big scheme of things, throwing a baseball or throw a basketball or football, it ain't, it ain't that big a thing, really. Right. And some of those of folks are dumber than dirt. Now, teaching a really superior teacher is a big thing. What I would like to do is, I would give her an option. I'll do it for ten thousand dollars, but I'm gonna tell her how to do it herself. I would like every the cab, Atlanta, and Fulton, and Gwinnett have teacher of the year, one for every school and one for the school system. And what they do is, they they every year they have a poster of the teacher of the year, the local school and of the system. They give them a dinner, and that's it. What I would like to do is give the teacher of the year a green blazer, like the guy at the Masters, Masters get it, Masters, right. with a little gold medallion that says T O Y, teacher T O T Y, and the year. I would like to create a website.
that would be retroactive to 2000 with the teachers of the year all the way back because the teacher of the year in 2013 don't nobody know who it was in the, you know it's like who the hell was that I don't Do you know, know who it is? no now that would be on the website now here is the functional part you click on that teacher's picture boom a page comes up with her best instructional tip and her best discipline tip you know so you could actually how would you qualify the teacher of the year is your criteria going to be different? Oh, no, no, they pick them. No, they already picked them. Right. Yeah. Now, in the old days, it was messed up. The principal would pick them with no criteria whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I went to a principal and he said, well, I just picked the teacher so every teacher can get it. <laughs> I thought, you dumbass for that. <laughs> now, what they've done is, all the school systems have done it differently where they, they still do it wrong, but what they do is they have the teacher submit a lesson plan and submit a videotape and they choose from that. But what they do wrong is they have a committee to look at the lesson plans in the videotape, but they put the teacher to get it one last year on the committee. Oh, no. Which means she can't win it again. I'm against that. If you the best there is win three again. years in a row, let it happen. Okay? But don't take me off of it because I didn't win it last right, time. Right, right. Discriminate against me or my previous history. But we want to encourage you. We think it's a very, very, very valuable. And uh, also, one other thing: if I'm two years in 2013 or 17, I can call my aunt in Arizona. Tell her go to the website. My pictures on there. Yeah, Check yeah, me out. Yeah, yeah. And should be looking a little bio about them. Like you said, it should be a, a some of their best teaching tips. But it should be a video of the person explaining. Who they are, you get right? To, now, and if you want to be me, and I can help you be teacher of the year. Well, here's the thing: Fulton County is the most unusual county in the world. It's, it's crazy. It's out at the airport, all the way out Georgia, 400 exit 11. Uh huh. So the kids out by the airport are black and poor, and you have to use different techniques. The ones out exit 10 out Georgia, 400, most of them are from Pakistan and India. Huh? Smart as a whip, but can't communicate. Hey. I was out there, kids said, teacher, where your homework? I ain't got it. You need your homework. Hey, the chauffeur forgot to put it in the limo. The chauffeur forgot to put it in the limo. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. I said, Lord have mercy. Can't get good help now, <laughs> Whole different thing. Yeah. Chauffeur yeah. forgot to put it in the limo. That? Yes. I, was, I didn't say that, but I was thinking, ain't that a bitch? I didn't say that, but I'm thinking, ain't that a bitch? <laughs> that a bitch? Why is everybody always picking on me?